Hi, I'm Alan Gardner. I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Edge Autonomy, and we're in booth 2232. Well, for the Special Forces, uh, basically all the equipment we build was designed for the Special Forces and then expands from there. But we specifically focus on unmanned aircraft, and so we have several here in our booth. Uh, we have the VXC-30, uh, also known as the Stalker UAS. This has been in development hand in hand with Special Forces, specifically MARSOC, since about 2006. So we're going on many, many years of evolution of this system. And right now it sits at the very top of the uh, capability pyramid, so to speak, for the Special Forces for that small unmanned systems. So they, they take this, they put it in the back of a truck, or they put it in a, a small SUV, they take it out, and in seven minutes, they can assemble the UAV, it launches vertically, it can fly for eight to, to hours or beyond, carrying uh, uh, sensing packages, and it comes back and lands vertically, and they can pack it up and take off. Yeah, so what makes Edge Autonomy very unique is that we have multiple sources of energy that we use on our platforms. And one thing that is really important is that our systems must be absolutely silent. So we don't use internal combustion engines. Everything is all electric. And we have, we use lithium ion batteries in some cases, they're convenient. But what sets us apart is our solid oxide fuel cell that uses propane power that you can get. People show up in Afghanistan, go get the propane canister from a barbecue, and they can fill up the aircraft with propane, and you get double, triple, or quadruple the endurance and range that you would get with the leading edge lithium ion batteries. And it gives, it gives our users, our operators, some extraordinary capabilities when they can fly for that long. Yeah, so the modern battlefield is changing a lot. We're learning, especially in our experiences in Eastern Europe, having platforms there, and, and supporting special operation users on six continents. What we've found is that the modern battlefield doesn't have the air support that it used to. The operators are now oftentimes alone, of, and, and in deep into a territory, sometimes you're, you're working with indigenous or allied partners, and they don't have F-15s or other platforms that are in a moment's notice away. So now they have to have that capability, the close air support, the sensing technologies, all these other uh, uh, multi-int capabilities, they need to have that organically carried with them at all times. And that's what this platform provides, is that special operator can go in alone with this kit and accomplish their mission without any other support.